problems and see what kind of power we can make. Finally, with Megasquirt and this new turbo. So taking a quick break from the tuning because I'm having an ignition breakup problem and I noticed with my coil packs at the back of the motor um, I just so happened to be looking and I could see it arcing from one of the coil packs to something metal down in here so I decided to take one of my plug wire boots off and I don't know if you can see it or not but this boot has a hole in it. So I'm gonna swap it out with one real quick and see what it does. All right, well, I grabbed just a random plug wire, swapped it out with the one that was on the car. So here in a few minutes, we will get back to uh, dyno on this thing and figuring out what in the world's going on.
we were trying just to top off the fuel and ended up putting E85 in it. So since I got the flex fuel sensor, we're going to go ahead and make a quick base map just to get it done. Alright, so it is the weekend. Uh, it's actually uh, Sunday night. Had a busy weekend, but I finally got to take the car out and enjoy it some. Um, yeah, this this is this is good. Uh, combo of the 62 Omega Remnant Turbo, Mega Squirt, just the engine setup, and then the tuning from Hung at Phantasm. This thing is on point. Um, coming home from the dyno, didn't really get a chance to get on it any. Just too much traffic. So, decided today I would take it out. And the first time I got on it, I just started giggling because it just blew the tires off. Um, never really done that before. And I am really, really happy with this. Um, the old turbos... They were real laggy, and yeah, they would blow the tires off every once in a while, but not first, second, and third, where it would just light them up. So, the car's got a 275 on the back of it, so it's not a small tire, and this thing just lights them right up. I am super stoked with the setup, and we haven't even changed the exhaust housing. It's still got an ignition breakup problem that we didn't figure out on the dyno. And we didn't really get to optimize it for E85, so it's on 93 right now. And it's only on 18 pounds. Um, made 400 horsepower, 400 torque, you know, roughly. And, uh, yeah, this is... I wish I went with a setup like this years ago. Um... Because this thing is awesome. Uh, I really don't know what to say. I need to get some in-car footage. But my mount for my phone broke. So I can't really do that. But on the next video I will definitely, definitely get some video of driving this thing around. Because it is a blast. Um, the response is amazing. Um, cruise around and just hit it and it lights right up. Turbo comes on. And you're out. Um, yeah. So just wanted to let you guys know my reaction after I got done driving it. I you know, let it cool down and covered it back up. Because i got the Lexus still in the garage working on that. But that is it for this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And have a good night.